want to tell my story. And the cause was humongous. And that is when they, elect, when they, uh, when they were putting Saddam uh, on trial. Every front page since October 7 has the Palestinian issue on the front page. Here's one about Gaza genocide into its nine months. And that's the offer that got from Jill Stein and Abdul Hamoud. We are in the listening mode right now. We wanted to see what kind of Kamala Harris will be uh, that out of the shadow of Joe Biden uh, and his administration. So far, we have seen some positive signs, some cracks in the doors uh, that opening, but not all wide open. Uh, we need to keep the conversation going. Kamala wants my vote. I want her to take a hard stance against these forever wars. I want her to take a hard stance against giving Israel any more money, especially for, mili especially for military purposes. I want her to take a strong stance in supporting um, the Palestinian plight and in supporting their right to exist. I giving us crumbs isn't going to sway me anymore. We can't have, we don't want any more, any more performances. We don't want any more performative statements and we don't want um, anyone to come and fool us uh, and give us a bunch of false hope to get our votes. We want long lasting permanent change. Both candidates are going to say whatever they have to say to win this election, right? Doesn't mean they're going to do whatever they say. So, you know, she can come on tomorrow and be like, hey, ceasefire, um, you know, we're going, to, we're going to stop funding this war and we're going to move on and we're going to... That, that's, that's, that's great, but, I mean, that, that's part of the problem. I, I, want to vote the, I, I want to vote for the Democratic Party. I will, I, you know, I, I voted... Dem Traditionally, I voted for Democrats. Uh, local, state, and federal elections. Um, but I got to see, I don't know uh, uh, President, uh, excuse me, Vice President Harris. I don't, I don't know her that well in terms of, she hasn't been really out there. She's been pretty invisible in this, uh, throughout Biden's uh, uh, term in office. 